Agora TV. The world is thinking. Let me just leave you with uh, something very close to home um, that I think is a great case study for thinking about you know, how urban information um, is going to play out in the marketplace. And this is a project that was designed by MIT Sensible City Lab for the, um, the climate talks um, last year. And uh, basically, it's a wheel that has a bunch of sensors in it, and it's connected to the, to the internet. Um, and it's supposed to be retrofitted on, on any existing bicycle. It collects uh, noise levels. It collects, I think, uh, temperature, and then a couple different kinds of pollutants, like nitrogen oxide and sulfur oxide. Um, and then it, it also tracks your position and how fast you're going and all these things. And it lets you publish that data to, to an online repository. And um, it lets you see your own movements and, and the environment that you've moved through. Was it polluted? Was it noisy? Uh, whatever. It lets you see other people's movements and their, their measurements. And then it also aggregates all that and produces maps of you know, real-time pollution maps, real-time noise level maps. And then it also has an app, uh, an iPhone app, so you can mount that iPhone or whatever smartphone on your bike and see that. So it's, it's a great example, I think, of, of how um, of very, what will probably be a very successful product. It's certainly a successful prototype. Both um, pushes information up to the cloud about the city, and then it pulls it down so that people can make better decisions and, and improve their lives. Um, so I think, you know, anybody that's involved in products or services, like these kinds of, of models um, are really the things to look at. Things that, that don't just produce data that, you know, some specialist is going to read somewhere. They produce data that everyone can use, um, and then they push it back into, into everyday situations. So.